Hey witches, welcome to Busy Gritty Inked and Witchy, a magical living podcast for the busy witch. I'm Morgan, eclectic witch of almost 25 years, Avalon priestess, and busy witch. Here we'll talk all things witchy from current metaphysical happenings to my busy witch tips and tricks and everything in the in-between. This podcast is my personal journey filled with my knowledge, opinions, and unique way of looking at the world. Join me as I weave the magical and the mundane in every episode. Hey witches, welcome back to Busy, Gritty, Inked, and Witchy. I am Morgan, and today I have a little gift for you all. This week got away from me, I will admit it now, and I was unable to record a full podcast episode, like write one, record one. The holiday threw me off, but I also took about four days off of work, and it was amazing. (laughs) I definitely needed it. But instead of just leaving y'all hanging for a podcast episode this week... I wanted to give you all something. So this shadow working guided meditation is from my ink spirit coven. This was part of a workshop that we did during our shadow working month a few years ago. And I wanted to give it to you all today free. So it is a guided meditation. It will start in a few minutes after I'm done with my little intro. Um, So you can definitely save it for when you want to do it. Don't do this while you're driving, (laughs) of course, because it is a guided meditation. To date, this is the most powerful meditation that I have ever written for the coven. Um, It left members speechless during our workshop. Um, It left them emotional Um, in a good way. I think a lot of them... Uh, confronted things that they had been meaning to for a while. And then there was a lot of emotional release, which was beautiful. It was so beautiful. And just from the feedback that I got from the shadow working workshop that we did, it truly helped many of them on their transformation journey. So what this guided meditation is, is it takes you into your internal sacred space to sit down with one of your shadows and have a conversation. And for those of you who don't know what shadows are, they're the parts of you that you don't want to come to light. They're born of limiting beliefs or they're born of trauma or they're born of just things that you hold back expressing about yourself. Um, you kind of shove them away and you say, get back there and don't see the light of day. But what ends up happening is shadows grow and they fester like an open wound and they can affect your daily lives pretty, pretty badly. So if you have never done shadow working before, definitely go back. I think I have a podcast episode on shadow working and at least listen to that one first before you do this guided meditation, but understand that you are bringing up from the darkness something that is ready to have light shined onto it so that you can heal and release it. Okay, that's the purpose of shadow working. So um, be sure that you have a journal ready for after the guided meditation to process what comes up for you. That's your disclaimer for this episode for when you actually do the guided meditation. Also, I just want to let you know that this was part of the Ink Spirit Coven a few years ago. This was just a regular workshop that we did. We had a lesson on shadow working. And then for the second half of the month, I did this guided meditation workshop. So the work that we do within the Ink Spirit Coven is truly transformational. And I, I don't talk about that a lot Um, because honestly, it scares the shit out of me to do that. I like to take the quote unquote safe route by letting people know, oh, the Ink Spirit Coven is a learning circle for witches. I teach you about witchcraft. Um, But I have really seen, especially within the last few months, um, if not maybe the last year or so, how many of the members have transformed their lives and how they are manifesting their desires and they are creating a life that they want to lead. And it's really hard for me to say, just, ah, it's my own shit, you guys. But a lot of them credit the coven and that makes me feel emotional and makes me feel amazing and makes me want to hide all at the same time. (laughs) 
So I know even on here, I peg the group as just, oh, it's a learning circle for witches and you can have your support from other fellow witches. Um, but honestly, it is so much more than that. Um, so I do teach members how to unlock their personal power, how to get in touch with their witchy selves, and how to perform magic with confidence to create the change in their lives that they want. So this glimpse into ink spirit is not just like a free set of book of shadow pages on, you know, how to create a sacred space. This is more in depth and this is the work that we truly do inside of the coven every single month. And we do it through one live lesson, one workshop, but also through weekly activities, monthly activities. There's a workbook, there's a Facebook group with daily discussion, and it it really has changed people's lives. So <laughs> if you want to join us, then you can head to inkspirit.com. We are getting ready to start working with the element of fire in the month of June, uh, June, July, and August. And we're using fire, we're working with the element of fire for empowerment. So I would love to have you join us. Um, and then once you're done with this episode, with the guided meditation, whenever you listen to it, if even if it's not right now, if you, you know, save it, bookmark it and come back to it when you're ready to process it and ready to give this guided meditation the time that it needs, then hit me up on Instagram. Um, especially there will be a sound bite of this episode and go on there. I do realize I never tell you all my Instagram handle. I tell you, come visit me on Instagram because that's where I hang out. And then I never tell you what it is. <laughs> my Instagram handle is inked goddess creations and it's not spelled funny. It's spelled, doesn't have any spaces. It doesn't have any numbers. Those are imposters. And I have like over 60,000 followers. So once you find that one, that's me. That's me. Okay. So yeah, tell me on, on Instagram, like, did you do the guided meditation? How did it go for you? What did you think of it? All that fun stuff. So I want to thank you all so much. Uh, keep listening. The guided meditation will start playing here in a second. And I hope you enjoy it. Hello, and welcome to the shadow work guided meditation. Sit with your feet or legs touching the floor or ground, or sit comfortably. Close your eyes and take three deep breaths. You find yourself in a small, empty room with a staircase leading downward. You stand at the top of the staircase, take a deep breath, and take your first step downward. One, slowly start to descend down the stairs. You are becoming more relaxed with each step. Two, continue making your way down. You are letting go of your day. Three, four, your mind is calm. Five, six, feel your body becoming heavy and relaxed. Seven, eight, your mind is open. Nine, 10. You're at the bottom of the stairs. In front of you is a door. The door is quite ancient with symbols and pictures carved into it. You run your hand over the deep grooves of the wood and follow the carvings down to the door handle. You grab a hold and push the door open. 
As the door opens, you are delighted to see that you are in your personal sacred space. You've been here before, even if in the past, it was just a comforting feeling inside of you. Look around your sacred space. How have you decorated it? What items fill your personal space? If this is your first time within your mind's eye sacred space, take a moment to add items to it that remind you of your spirituality, that make you feel comfortable, and that make you smile. As you look around, you notice that there are two seating surfaces in the middle of your sacred space. These could be chairs or pillows on the floor, whatever you feel most comfortable with. You know that you will be having a visitor soon, so you decide to prepare your space just a little. You see to your right a small table against a dark wall. On this table is a large candle, a bell, some incense, and a lighter. You light the incense to purify the room and set the sacred space. You pick up the bell and ring it three times to further cleanse the air. Then you light the large candle in the middle. As the flame on the candle establishes itself, you notice that the dark wall behind this table was not a wall at all. It was simply a dark void of space. As the candle flame illuminates this dark void, you can sense movement a few feet away. You are not frightened, for you know that you are in your sacred space and there is nothing here to fear. You pick the candle up and take a step into the dark void, asking, Hello. Who is there? You take a moment to let your eyes adjust to the darkness and you notice that there are a few shadow figures in this area. Somehow you just know that they are aspects of yourself. You can call them shadows. You can call them sub personalities, whatever you feel comfortable with. These are parts of you that don't get much sunlight, for they are things like bad habits, flaws, or personality traits that you have labeled as negative. As the candle flame grows a bit more, you are able to see many of them, and you know that one day you will sit and chat with each of them. But for today, Choose one of these shadow aspects to work with, or if you do not have one that immediately comes to mind, simply ask, who would like to come talk with me today? Take a moment while this shadow aspect comes forward. and now guide them back to the seating in the middle of your sacred space. Place your candle back onto the table near you. As you sit down, gesture to the shadow aspect to also sit in the chair across from you. Ask the shadow to give you a name. It can be an actual name or the name of this shadow aspect of you, like jealousy or fear. Once they have told you who they are, 
Take a moment to really look at them. What do they look like? Do they have a human form, animal form, object form, or are they amorphous, meaning they don't really have a shape or their shape moves? What energy do they emit? How does their energy make you feel? Now place your hands out in front of you, palms facing up. The shadow aspect knows that they are to place their hands on top of yours. Take a deep breath as your hands touch. Where do you feel this shadow aspect in your body. Say their name to yourself in your head. What emotions come to you and where in your body do you feel these emotions? Sit back and take your hands back. Now it is time for you to have a talk with this shadow aspect. We'll ask it a few questions to help you understand it more. You can ask these questions and receive your answers in private. No need to answer them out loud. Why are you here? What role do you feel you are playing in my life? Where did you come from? Do you know that when you pop up or emerge, it makes me feel like and tell the shadow how you feel? What do you think is the best way to bring you to light? Is it time to let you go? Could we reassign the role you feel you're playing in my life to something more beneficial to me? How can we work together? Do you have anything else you'd like to tell me? As you absorb the knowledge given to you by the shadow, take a deep breath. It is time to thank the shadow for its insight and release it. At this time, you can release the shadow to one of two places. The first is upward toward the light if you are ready to release the hold that this shadow has over you. If you feel like you need to work with this shadow a little more, then the second option is to have the shadow Take its place at the chair next to the table with a candle on it. You know that you will be back to talk with it more, but from this point forward, it cannot go back into the dark void behind the table. You have started to bring it to light and you must continue this journey at your own pace. For either form of releasing, take a deep breath 
say thank you for working with you and let that shadow aspect go. Now it is time to leave your sacred space and return to this world. Head back to the wooden door, open it and walk through. You are back at the staircase where we began. 10, start to make your way up the stairs. Nine, eight, continue to ascend the stairs. Seven, Six, you feel joy and gratitude in your heart. Five, you are becoming more aware of your body. Four, three, you are fully at peace. Two, begin wiggling your fingers and toes. One, bring yourself back to this time and this space. You can now open your eyes. Be sure to take a few moments to journal your journey today.